Isn't it always nice when you hear from somebody that you haven't heard from in a while? You get a random text message and it may be from a number that you don't even have locked in your phone. And you're like, hold up, who's this? And then they tell you, hey, it's me. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. Hey, how you doing? Hope everything is good. Or you get a random call or FaceTime from a friend or family member that you haven't talked to in a while. It's like, hey, I'm happy to see you. That's the same way that it is with Hollywood Brown. Ravens haven't heard from him in a little while, um, but the Cardinals, they were like, you know what? Ravens coming to town. You know what? Let's interview Hollywood Brown. Let, let's see how he's feeling with his old boys getting ready to come to his new home. Um, and Hollywood did have some very interesting things to say, but this interview was courtesy of azcardinals.com, so the team's official website. Uh, it said Marquise Brown loved playing for the Baltimore Ravens. What they stood for as, as an organization, that's what Brown stands for. And he said he wasn't angry with his former team, but he felt he needed to play elsewhere. Now, that part right there, that part right there is, is, is business. It's business. And I know a lot of times with fans, it's hard to separate the business from the sort of the, the, the fandom. Because it's like, hey, you want these players to stay uh, with your team forever. But with the business, it, it does not allow that. It just doesn't happen. Um, and with Hollywood, with him going to Arizona, it's just a much better situation for him business-wise. I've seen some people say, hey, man, Hollywood was going to get paid regardless. And while he would have gotten paid regardless, he has a much higher ceiling for his pay with a pass-happy offense. I know the Cardinals, they ain't been the most successful team, da 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 da, -da but... As far as his pay, just strictly about his pay, not his success, not his chance at a Super Bowl, none of that stuff. But when it comes to the business with his pay, his pay has a much higher chance of being higher with the Cardinals than it does with the Ravens. Cardinals, they pass first, second, and third team. Ravens all run first, second, and third team. They even run on, they run on fifth down if they could. But anyway, um, Back to the interview. He said, it's about happiness, said the Cardinals wide receiver after practice Wednesday with his new team, hosting his former team Sunday night on national TV in the second game of the preseason. So, hey, it's on national TV. We ain't got to find no stream, baby. Anyway, um, continuing, he said, I want to feel like I am part of something to win. At the Ravens, I just felt like sometimes they really didn't need me. Regardless if I was there or not, they were going to win games. Now, with that statement, um, I feel like it's like, half true uh during the season hollywood was certainly a uh, he certainly made a big impact uh, on the baltimore ravens um i mean he was their number one receiver um whether he was the best fit as their number one receiver you could debate with that one but he was their number one receiver um oh well you could say mark andrews but as far as wide receiver mark andrews is a tight end as wide receiver hollywood was their number one wide receiver uh he led the team in targets um, led a lot of the league in targets, too. Um, they weren't always quality targets, especially when he lost Lamar. But, hey, it led him in targets nonetheless. Um, and he was the go-to receiver. Uh, he was their big play receiver. Um, so he was a big part of their success. There were some games where if he would have an off game, hey, there were some games where they, the Ravens would still win. In spite of him having an off game, I know the one that sticks out to everybody the most is obviously the Detroit Lions game. Uh, there was the, uh, the Chargers game as well. Um, but I definitely wouldn't say that he was not a part of the Ravens winning. With that part, I disagree. But with the part where he said, I just felt like sometimes they really didn't need me. With that part, I agree based off of how the Ravens moved. Because words are one thing, but actions are another. And the Ravens' actions showed that we, we ain't need Hollywood. We didn't need Hollywood. I mean, they traded Hollywood away. And they never did anything to replace him. Apparently they tried. Apparently they took some swings. Well, kind of some swings because they didn't end up drafting in any wide receivers at all. But the way that they moved afterwards, uh, during the draft and after the draft, it felt like, okay, they, they felt like they really ain't need Hollywood like that, okay? And, you know what, let's just keep going with the article. It says, I love the game too much. I want to be involved. 
Uh, and it says that won't be a problem in Arizona with a team that passes more often than the Ravens and with Brown playing with quarterback and best friend Kyler Murray. The man nicknamed Hollywood will be crucial the first six games, especially while DeAndre Hopkins is serving his suspension. So, again, this thing is set up very nicely uh, for Hollywood. He will have all the opportunity in the world uh, to have success. And, you know, just like Lamar did, Kyler is going to give Hollywood plenty of opportunities, plenty of opportunities. Like you could try to be like, oh, well, hey, y'all, y'all are friends off the field. Hey, try not to let it impact you on the field. Try not to force feet. Oh, no, it is going to happen. It's going to happen. And I know a lot of people feel like with Lamar. Um, with Lamar throwing in Hollywood that some people felt like Lamar was like force feeding Hollywood because they were friends and because Lamar wanted him to stay. We knew Hollywood wasn't happy for years, um, but maybe Lamar was like, hey, come on, I got you. I'm going to give you opportunities. And he's still, nope, I, I, I want to be traded. I want out. So now he's with Kyler Murray, he's like his, his other quarterback best friend. Uh, and, hey, I, I, I expect a lot of the same. I don't expect him to be unhappy. I expect him to be very happy there, especially in the type of offense that the Cardinals got. Like, he has absolutely no reason that he should not have success there. And then once DeAndre Hopkins come back, oof. <laughs> it says Brown, who was acquired in a trade on draft night in April after three seasons in Baltimore, won't be playing against the Ravens this weekend. Few of the key, few of the key Cardinals will. Right now, Brown is just trying to work back into practice. And yeah, I mean, it's no shocker there. I, I when I saw that the, we were playing the, the the Cardinals in preseason, I was like, oh man, that, that that's cool. But it's preseason, so you know, them, them boys ain't, ain't nobody really gonna be playing like that. Um, but he said Brown sat out on Wednesday, as did most starters, as the Cardinals focused on Ravens game prep. But this is the first week he has been practicing fully since he hurt his hamstring prepping pre-camp and since he had been arrested for criminal speeding at the outside of camp. Ooh, this, oh, boy, they, they, these Cardinals writers. And th again, this is straight from the team website. Hey, they not messing around. They ain't pulling no punches. They like, hey, it happened. It's out there in the public. And, and we're going to bring it back up again. Ooh, I, I ain't mad at how straight up they are. I, I respect it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I ain't used to that. Uh, Brown said, I want to learn from it. Brown said in his first comments about the arrest, I'm not a guy who gets into trouble, so I want to put it I want to put it in my past uh, and make sure I'm always doing the right things at all times. And that's true. With, with Hollywood, you'd never hear of any of the, the off the field stuff like at all. Uh, Brown didn't get into specifics, but he did say he was not late to practice that morning, calling his decision very disappointing. See, that's what I was thinking. When, when we heard that he got arrested for speeding, uh, and he's, ooh, they said it was a crazy, crazy speed, too. He can't be doing that, man. Can't be doing that, man. It's just, it's, it's too risky. It's too dangerous. Thank goodness nobody got hurt. Uh, it could have been a lot worse, but thank goodness it wasn't a lot worse. Oh, that, that's scary stuff. But again, like he said, um, hopefully he did learn from it. I know there have been a lot of people... Um, just been like, oh man, he's stupid, he's this, he's that, he's that. And it's like, it's crazy because I feel like a lot of people forget that they were young as well. And a lot of people still are young. Everybody doesn't grow up the same. Everybody isn't raised the same. Uh, and even if you came from a, a good household, you may still f feel that thrill on the highway or something. You get a nice little car with, with some good speed on it. You start mashing the gas, you start pushing the governor a little bit. It's like, ooh. I did it before plenty of times, plenty of times. When I was younger, ooh, stupid. Just look, just thinking back to it, I'm like, man, stupid. What was I doing? What was I doing? I told y'all I, I used to mash the gas and like with my friends in the car and stuff. I used to mash the gas and then I, I would uh like tailgate somebody who was uh who was right in front of me, like the car in front of me, and I'd be speeding, speeding, and act like I was gonna hit them. Then at the last second, then swerve, just to play around. Oof. Stupid. Anyway, um, he said, uh, I have a lot of kids that look up to me, so I want to set the right example of at all times. Uh, the incident didn't help in an odd first camp for Brown, who didn't get a chance to practice with Murray until this week. Oh, I didn't know that. He said his uh, hamstring is 100% healthy. Um, but yeah, man, the, the rest of the article was just really uh, about the Cardinals camp, him just really getting acclimated with the team and stuff. They did talk about the contract. Um, he said it's important for Brown, who has two years left on his contract in the league where many wideouts got huge extensions this offseason. Brown shrugs that off, saying he's happy for his friends to get that kind of money. His contract, he insisted, isn't on his mind right now. Well, I, I don't think it is because they already picked up the fifth-year option. Uh, so those contract talks, they can resume next year. So, I mean, he ain't even got to be on his mind right now. I'm sure he's thinking about it in the future, though. He knows, man. 
He knows. Looking around the league and seeing what these dudes been getting paid, man. Poof. <laughs> he knows. If if he just goes there and does his thing, man, that dude can make a lot of money. A lot of money. And again, it would be, and it's not a shot at the Ravens, but this just is what it is. It could be significantly more money than he would make with the Ravens. Significantly more money. So, and because again, we, we know like the Baltimore Ravens, they, they're not a cheap team. I got to clear that up. They're not a cheap team. They, they, they pay a lot of their guys like Mark Andrews, Marlon Humphrey, Ronnie Stanley. We can go down the list. They, they pay a lot of their guys. They just gave um, uh, uh, the safety who they just signed from the Saints. Marcus Williams, they just gave him all that money. Seventy-something million dollars. Like they, so they, they pay guys, but they just don't pay receivers because they just don't feature receivers like that because they just don't emphasize receivers like that. And this is not a new thing. This has just been what it's been. And it is what it is. That, that's, what, that's what it is. So with, with Hollywood wanting to leave the Ravens, again, I completely understand it from a business point. Um, I wish that this was a regular season game to where the Ravens played the Cardinals because I, I would just love if it counted and, and everybody played. And I would want it to be after week six. I want it to be week seven and pass because that would mean DeAndre Hopkins would be back. But just got to wait it out. So anyway... Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. We out.